Hey, what is going on guys? Zexo Designs here and I'm back off holiday bringing you a tutorial. Um, I've uploaded my sp a speed art of um, the husk background for myself. Um, that'll be on my channel. That will be yesterday's upload so there'll be a link in the description for that. Also I've made a portfolio. Um, I know this is the first time I've ever actually spoke to you so I'm just like bursting you of everything. But I've made um, a portfolio on Behance, so if you would go follow me on there. That's where I upload all my work. Just in case you didn't ever catch a video on YouTube. And to, apart from that, let's get straight into the tutorial. Photoshop only, and this pack here, this um, graphics pack. But there will be a link in the description, my friends. There will be a link in the description. So yeah, and there'll, there'll also be a link in the description for this YouTube layout as well. So. It's a Mediafire link. If you want me to put it on Mega Upload, just leave a comment and I'll put it up on Mega Upload as well. But at the moment, it's just on Mediafire, which should be alright. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, first thing you want to do is you want to download this, open it up, and um, you want to pick um, some colours for your background. So, what you want to do is you want to right click on the desktop thing. I'm not too sure if this will work though. <laughs> I'll just give this a quick try. You want to click gradient overlay. Yeah, it's going to work. So, what you want to do is you want to right click on desktop, blending options, go down, check gradient overlay, make sure you click it there. And then, um, yeah, so you're going to go onto this, you're going to click on that little thing there, where it says gradient, you're just going to click that. You're going to pick, double click that black box, and you're going to pick a colour. I, I'm going to go with a nice. Uh, sorry if you can hear background noise. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with a nice blue to a nice darker blue, and I'm just gonna hit reverse because I think it'll look better. You don't have to do that, but yeah, I just felt like doing that because I just felt it'd look better like that. Um, actually, let's leave the scale at a hundred. I think that's. Oh God, sorry if you heard that. I think that's everything for the background so if you wanna that's a little arrow there to pull it up. So then what you want to do is you want to get your text button down here and um wait for that to initialise, I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh god. Yeah there we go, it's coming up now. And then you wanna click anywhere on it and just drag it into the position where you want it. I'm gonna have it a bit small. I'm probably gonna have it about 72 at the moment for I've right on my text. Actually, just type in there 100 and nah, that's a nice enough size. Right, so you want your font. Okay, so we're back. Sort itself out. So once you've got your text out, I'll, yeah, I'll put a link in the description for the font if you don't have it. You just want to click this little T here and just drag that up to about, let's say, 180 and you want to drag that over into the middle. Then you want to click on that layer, click Control J, and then edit it to um, whatever you want. So I'm going to have designs, and I'm going to bring it down to about here. Zoom in a bit by pressing the Control and the Plus key. All right, so bring that there. Oh god, I've clicked somewhere. Right, now make sure you've got your first layer. Now you just put that there. So, now you're going to click Control and click Zexo and Designs. Once you've got it all perfectly lined up, just double check that. Yeah, and then you want to press Control E to merge the layer. So now, um, that layer is merged and you can move it together um, you know so they're not separate now you want to go to your blending options click on drop shadow um, also click colour overlay and make it whatever colour you like I'm going to go with a nice crew, nice white colour anyway you want to click drop shadow you want to put your distance at about 10 spread uh, about 11 and your size about 
a change distance actually to about two. You can always type it in there if you're struggling with that. And then bring your size up to about 18. So distance two, spread 11, size 18, right nice. So then you want to click on beveling and emboss, that just gives it like a little effect. Um, size, I'd bring that to about 2, that's on the top one. And the depth, about um, so about 11. 11. We'll go with 40 if you depth, yeah. And you can also go for gradient overlay, check that. If you press that and click on overlay. Um No, I'll we'll stick with the colour overlay, forget the gradient, forget sorry about that. So now now you got your text, like like so, you want to go onto the wanted ultimate background pack. Uh, click on the light flares, click on the first one, press this little I to bring it up. You have an option of colours, you have blue, red, and um, I think that's a greeny, yellowy kind of colour. Yeah, you got blue, red, and green. But personally, I'm going to go with the blue. And I'm going to place that just in the s centre that, there. so the main like thing. Then I'm just going to press Control J, Control J, 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 like press that about eight times and then ha hold shift click the bottom one to the top one press um control a to merge them all and then change your mode over here just above your layers to um linear dodge add and then that just gives it like a nice little like effect there with a like a flare connecting them then his ultimate background pack and go on to particles then if you select the wanted three particle and then put it on it it has like obviously nice particles so you could go on blending options colour overlay and then make the colour black that actually shows up or a nice little like, blackish type of colour. Okay. And then just like make it come up around the bottom. Like that. This is just for beginners really. This tutorial. Like the background's not gonna look the best, but I'll do another tutorial later on. Well, in time to come to make a decent background like that husk one not sounding big headed there by the way right now go on to textures and then find this texture the wanted two and the wanted one if you just highlight both of them and drag them onto your background now move the wanted one over here then press Control T to rotate it. You know what? I'm gonna change the back um, gradient on the background. I'm gonna make it darker colours. I just don't think it's really working. I think that looks a bit better. Yeah, it looks miles better. Now, back on topic, go on the wanted one. We just drag that up into this like corner bit here. Then don't forget all the black bit will not show. So just get your rubber tool, 
make sure the hardness is on zero and then you can just rub it out along the way also oh god I keep moving the bloody rulers instead of the actual thing and then you can just put that over there and just rub around so it's only on the text maybe control J on the layer one like this bit and then click make sure you got the layer highlight click edit um where is it transform rotate 180 degrees nope just press control z to undo that oh god um click horizontally there you go just make sure you check flip horizontally and then you can put that there like that and then basically what you just want to really do is add any texture like just keep adding textures maybe like here could bring the opacity down a bit just rub that top part out like just, just basically add whatever textures you like and bring the opacity down to um, whatever really whatever floats your boat like that I'd probably put that about there just drag the opacity down um, I just like to rub out the bits around the edges because it kind of uh, just annoys me a bit for some reason I just think it looks a bit untidy when I'm working maybe this nice long strip here you could um slap on top like that down here just as long as it's like see how that's like just a blank area as long as you got like a little texture over it it just gives it that like better effect just maybe keep the opacity up on that one see like you don't really see many blue areas apart from here and here but we can just do whatever add more textures so what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna add a few more textures, maybe this. Add that on. How long have we been going? Um that twenty minutes, right? <laughs> um maybe add this on the side. Let's make that. Minus oh, what's it doing? Minus ninety. Then we could maybe bring the pasta down and rub the top and bottom out. Then control J, edit, transform. Oh, what's it doing? Edit, transform, flip horizontally, and then just put that on there. And that's pretty much it. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of that pen tool thing. Which one is it? Eh, uh, right. Personally, I'm gonna get rid of that. You can keep that if you liked it, but personally, I'm getting rid of it. And there you have it. There you go. Basic background, only using Photoshop and this pack. Well, I'll put in the description. So I won't forget, I promise. And I'll put, um, I've just uploaded the thing to Mediafire and my YouTube layout. So. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Please have a like. Peace.